Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Barb. This is B Rex, the PR Goddess One, the Glamazon Hot Mess. My beauty hoard is upstairs. I'm in the book hoard known as the home office. So before we begin, I'm just going to let you know that today we're going to be unboxing some Ipsy from this month that just came in and also a gorgeous item that I got on Etsy. And I'm kind of already wearing, so I'm cheating at that unboxing. But let's begin. Let me start with some of my finds that came in from, these came yesterday, and they are from the Ipsy, actually this is my bag, oops, this is my June bag, this one's the extras. So let's go ahead and talk about the June bag. So I've realized now that if you're going to invest in add-ons, whether it be during flash or regular bag picking time, it's better to do it during bag picking time because you couldn't get points back. By reviewing those items if you do it just during flash you don't get that so i've decided maybe i won't be mark safe from ipsy add-ons today what i do want to mention to people though is that they're, they're having a red white and beauty sale at ipsy that is listed on your card that comes in your bag so if your bag is like mine and sometimes comes at the end of the month or later i want to let you know june 26th until july 5th they're doing the red white and beauty stock up for summer sale on ipsy so if you have the app go into the shop section at that time and do that also if you missed it they had choice on the 20 20th to the 22nd of course my bag didn't come it was going to come the 28th it came yesterday so i guess a little early but whatevs so if you remember this month, they had three different color choices that they might could send you. They were perforated faux leather, vinyl, vegan leather, pleather bags. There was a hot pink, there was a bright neon yellow, and there was a neon purple. And each of them had a fruit slice on the, um, the little metal enameled um, zipper pull. The red one, or sorry, the pink one had a watermelon slice. The purple, I think, had a lime, and then the yellow had, I don't know what... I wanted either yellow or purple. They sent me pink, so I have the watermelon. See, I would think this watermelon would have gone really well on the yellow, but I digress. So they put some of my add-ons in here and the rest are in this bag because they just didn't fit. So let's start with the ones that didn't fit. So I love to paint my own nails because I am skeevish about germs and my nails grow like weeds usually. So even when they break under the skin like this one did two weeks ago, it's coming back. And this one broke under the skin right after, and it's coming back, even though it's at the click. And honestly, I know my stuff is clean. I clean it regularly. I don't have to worry about someone else's funk and junk on my nails. Now, I've never had success with nail art stickers, but these are the retrograde ones. So they are all kinds of celestial symbols. Little planets, little retrogrades, little constellations. So I picked that. That was one of the $5 add-ons. 350 whatever it was the little add-ons the next thing was the fenty beauty highlighter they had it's a kilowatt freestyle highlighter full size eight grams slash 0 0.28 ounces and this shade is called mo honey like the mo money and it is like a champagne honey so it's not your true light champagne but it's not a true bronze and for that i love it because sometimes the bronzes are just too dark and the champagne sometimes skew a little too ashy on me but look at that I'm going to use it as everything. Highlighter, high, um, eyeshadow, lip topper. Hell, I may bathe in it. That was $12. Originally, if you buy it at like Ulta or Sephora or Fenty Beauty's website, it's like $36. Then I got you Woma Beauty. I got their Badass Icon Matte Lipstick in the shade Maya. Now, Maya is a deep beige. I love me some reds, but... I'm a sucker for a deep beige. Look at how sexy that is. The absolute perfect shade. And not only does it say badass on it, magnetic. I can't remember what the retail is on this. 18, 22. I paid what? Either 5, 7, 12, something like that. I don't normally go that cray cray. Next, the bag itself. The item I picked in choice was this puppy. It was the Amina, uh, some indie brand, I don't know. And it is their 24 karat gold glow oil, which is a 24 karat gold shimmer in golden jojoba oil, coconut oil, rosehip oil, hazelnut oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E, and fragrance. So it's a body oil. But as you can tell, let me shake it up. Add it to your body, uh, 
like what I'll do is I'll take body cream, body lotion, add a drop or two of this, and a little bit of sunscreen, because I find sunscreen body creams are so stiff. And I think this puppy leaked because he looks less full than he was when I first got him. I didn't even open him, so let's just see if he's oily inside. Not really. Hmm. Oh, filled by weight, not by volume. There you go. So that was my choice item. Although I had been torn because I really wanted this, but they gave it to me anyway. So this is from a brand I've never heard of called Beauty Vault with an E at the end. And it is their plum palette, which honestly, these colors look great. And I'm not even a pink person. But this kind of rosy with purple, I could get behind. Then what else did they give me? So this, these are two things from my actual bag. And I showed you three of my add-ons. I think that's all I did. Um, the Brow Atelier Clean Beauty. This is their Groom and Sculpt Tinted Brow Gel in black. Hopefully it'll work. Sometimes the dark browns are too pale and too like golden. Other times they're just perfect. And then sometimes the blacks are way too like sharpie black. So you'll see. So that was three. Okay, number four that they sent me from the bag that they picked was the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Deep Pore Cleanser. 10 milliliters, point, no, 0 0.3 fluid ounces US. Haven't tried it yet. Again, this just came the other day. And then they sent me one of the lip liners. So I got the second one as an add-on. So these are from a brand called Mishko Lip Liner. They sent me Madame, which is this super dark purple, which I can't wait to try. Reminds me of my vamp shade from Revlon um, Color Stay from back in the day that literally I'm scraping the end out. I'm so judicious with it. So the other shade that I added on as an add-on that they had available is called Misho, which is the same name as the brand. And this one is a nude rose. And we're not going to swap them because, again, I am between Zoom meetings at work. I'm taking five minutes, and that's that. Oh, and because of how much I spent in add-ons between the two little 350s or... Yeah, these were 350s. I think this was an 8, and I know this was a 12. I got another free item for spending 25. Sophia and Maybelle Small and Mighty Extreme Volume Mascara. I already had this from an add-on and also from... A prior bag where it was chosen for me so I got like two of them which is great because they're bigger than a travel size or deluxe sample size but they're also not so big that they cause any sort of issue in like your bag so I leave one at my desk I have one in my purse and then you figure one is your little travel size thing and I'm not gonna lay that guy down again I'm gonna let him sit up so this is my bag and what I like is that at least there is a yellow lining that's kind of cool. I'm not a pink person, but this is not terrible. So that's what I got. I'm going to sit this guy up over here. And I apologize because I'm trying not to do the pee-pee dance while I do this. Okay. The next thing was, oh, I don't remember the name of the shop. I'll have to find it and post it in my, um, who's he, what's it, in my comments to this video. But um, every now and then, ipsy. Not Ipsy. Etsy likes to put ads up on my Facebook reminding me of some of the stuff I favorited and when it's on sale. So I bought one and it was from one of those nice custom, the jewelers that are just like brand new to the whole scene with a raw st uh, stone cutting in like India proper. And so where did I put that bag thing? I don't even know. It came in just a simple gray bag. Did I leave it in here? No. I had the bag. I just threw the thing in the trash. Did I throw it in here? You know what? No one cares what it looks like. It was just a gray mailer. When I opened it, this was in there. So it didn't come in a fancy ring box. But it was one of the silver and labradorite rings I had favorited back in the day. And it is a little coffin ring. So this is how it came wrapped. Looks like a little fishing lure box, which is handy because I'll give it to my husband for exactly that. Or it'd be nice for like if you're not going anywhere too far and you just want a little something to put your jewelry in. So this is what it looks like. And let me tell you that flash. Look at that. Depending on the size you got, I think it started at like eight bucks. The bigger sizes were a little bit more, but I think it topped out at like 18. So, I mean, it started at like a two and then it went all the way up to like a 16 as the size. So like, it didn't matter whether you were a nine foot tall, you know, Amazonian warrior, or if you were the tiniest, most petite waif-like child person, you could get one. So this one I got, I think I got it in a seven and a quarter, just because I wanted it to be a little loose to fit every finger. Like this is my fattest finger, the one that I had jammed and broken. 
in high school. It'll never look the same as my other finger, as you can tell. It's like way fatter and bent, even at the bone level. It's never even healed straight. It's healed with a little bit of a twist to it, as you can tell. So because of that, I figure, because when you get older, you sometimes get fatter. So if it fits here, it's fine. But it's not an eight, but it fits like an eight, which is great. But I mean, you could wear it on any finger and it would look great. Like right now, obviously it's huge. If you wanted this as a pinky ring, you could even do that. Obviously get a smaller price, uh, one. I think the size I got was like 12 bucks and they only charge tax. They didn't charge any funky shipping and I didn't have to pay any um, actual like customs here in the US. So I think it was either 12 or 15, something like that. I can't really remember. I think the base price started at eight or nine. It was like not an even dollar amount. It was like 864 or something it started at. However, there you go. And it came wicked fast because I only ordered it like, I think last week. I totally didn't expect it to come like that. And then this today, this Ipsy came in the mail today. This is a bag of extras. Oh, and this is my free gift for spending over 25. Because again, if you're going to spend, spend big. And we got some stuff up in here. <sighs> I have a problem. It is evident. Okay, so we have the first thing that caught my eye was the Gerard Cosmetics, which is a very good brand. I love their Hydra Matte lipsticks and their metal Hydra Mattes are amazing. This is in the shade 1995. Now, I know I have their regular lipstick, bullet size bullet lipstick in that shade. I can't remember if I have a Hydra Matte. For five bucks instead of 19, I sure as hell grabbed one. It is the greatest shade of like truly 1990s brownish. Like not quite terracotta, not quite brown. So we have that guy. Um, he was five, so he came by himself. Oh, look, I hate when they do this and they package and it comes out all bent because it's going to take forever for that bend to come out of there. So this was one of the flash sale duos. This came wicked fast too. You know, for times when Ipsy can't get out of its own way and boxy when Ipsy sometimes take over a month to get me my monthly box. Then this I ordered and it came like within days. So we'll put it all in here to keep it safe. I love those bags. So this was a duo that came with one of these long highlighter brushes. This is from Luxie Beauty. I have one of these and I love it. So I wanted to back up because I have an OCD thing where I lost one of my favorite makeup brushes when I was on vacation in Cancun with one of my best friends. And so ever since then, I like when I find a brush that I love and it's on sale, like this one was, this was literally $2.50. Came with this, the, um, the two-sided tweezers. So one side is a slant tweezer and the other side is a point tweezer. And you get two in one. As, as you can tell, they just share that. The first one like this I loved, I lent it to somebody and it never got it back. It was to get a splinter out. It wasn't like to use it on their face. And they were like, oh, I'll go clean it. And then next thing I never got it back. So for five bucks, I got a replacement of this. Now I got to try and unbend it because obviously, as you can tell, it came smashed at the bottom of that bag. So from holding that shape like this for so long, we got to get it the other way. But it's great for highlighting, all over blending. And yeah, yeah, I'm going crazy with it. Anyway, what do we have next? Oh. This. this was eight bucks. This is from Winsome Lashes. It came with one of their glues. I don't even remember if this glue was supposed to be a clean glue or what. Oh, dries clear, latex free for sensitive eyes. Tube glue like this always makes me nervous. I never do well with it. I like brush on glue. And at the same time, you have a nice little cardboard, but you have a very pretty lash box. And you got three different styles. So you have Noble hybrid and envy so obviously hybrid is wicked long but you know sometimes you just want a little extra length i'd say like the drag queen long but envy looks like you could pull it off every day and noble might be nice for going out if you have bigger eyes like me or some of my other girlfriends then you can probably wear any of these during the day without looking like you are selling yourself on the corner if you have more delicate facial and eye structure you may want to steer clear of this set because it kind of looks a little street ish or drag queen ish if you shy away from the bold and the magnificently dramatic like many i know do you know so a lot of people say to me you know you're so you, you you're just so out there you know that's like my definition of you over the top like i'm some sort of female liberace so that okay so the brush and tweezer set was five the lip the liquid lipstick was five the lashes were eight this was five this is another duo and this is the Hanalee 
lip balm in Tropical Citrus and the Lemon Sugar Moisturizing Lip Scrub from Seraphine Botanicals. This stuff is full size and it goes for $22 when you buy it. So I have one of these. I got it as, um, I think one of my like March or February picks that they got for me in the bag. And then they also added it as an add-on. So now whenever I see it, I grab it because five two fifty instead of 22 Yeah. And I have one of these already as well and I really enjoy it. And you can never have enough lip balm or lip scrub. Especially if one likes to wear matte lipstick, be it liquid or bullet. And then the last combination item I got was, I believe this set was 10 so it was a little bit more expensive. But in the past, they used to just sell the big thing in this alone, not with the little add-ons. So this is the Vitabrid C12 Facial Boosting Water. It's in a treatment essential toner, 4.4 ounces. And uh, it's peptabrid and peptide complexes, deep hydration controls oil moisture balance and it looks like it's from one of the k-beauty people because it's got the korean on the side so this i've been wanting for a while i don't know if it's more like a micellar water or a essence but i'm going to try it and now this time when it came for 10 bucks it came with two of the reusable cotton bamboo hybrid uh, blend face circles so i usually can get these like a 10 pack or 12 pack on amazon for like eight nine bucks nowadays where they used to be $6.99 when I first started buying them. Primark had a set of like five of them with a little pouch for $4.99 when I went last summer. But usually this sells by itself for 10 at Ipsy shops or Ipsy offers. So now I got it with this for free. Not bad. So that was my overall haul. You can let me know how you like what I spent my weekly allowance on, which was Ipsy. Or how you'd think I'm an idiot for wasting all my money on shit that's going to take me until five lifetimes from now to truly use all of it. But you got to remember, I share with the group. I am not a sole source. I am all about, oh, one of my girlfriends who's not into makeup or needs to look nice or something and doesn't have anything. Well, I probably have a brand new palette I haven't touched that I can either give you for free or give you for cheap and we can work it out and you'll look fabulous. So you get the idea. All right, and on that note, I'm going to pack my goods. Thank you for watching. As more mail shows up, we'll do this again. And uh, until then, if you're new to this channel, thank you for watching. If you're a returning viewer slash subscriber, thank you for returning and subscribing. Continue to be that light you wish to see in the world. And that kindness. Also remember that you need to do your part to end the pandemic. Stay clean, my dirty peeps. And uh, other than that, uh, you know, remember what Rumi says, life is the balance of knowing when to hold on and to let go. Comment below, leave an emoji, let me know you got to the end of this. And if you are new and you like what you see, tell the YouTube demons of the algorithm that you like me by liking, subscribing, and hitting notifications because I don't own an upload schedule. Now back to work. Next Zoom meeting calls. Creepy chow kiss. Bye.